Have you ever bought an LED light bulb that claimed to last 10 years, but it barely made it 10 months? Yeah, me too. They told us LED bulbs would last for years, save us money, and be the future of lighting. But in reality, they're failing us faster than ever. So what's really going on? I tried all the suggestions, all the hacks, all the so-called answers to make them last longer. And after testing dozens of LED bulbs, calling manufacturers, talking to experts, I found some shocking truths. So stick around because you'll want to hear why this is happening and what you can do to stop this. Before the LED became popular, CFL or compact fluorescent lights came out. And yes, they were more energy efficient than the incandescent bulbs and more expensive at first. But as prices started to lower, well, so did the quality. Then we started to hear reports of CFLs catching on fire, plus they contain mercury, a uh, hazardous substance which poses environmental concerns uh, if they weren't disposed of properly. So people quit buying them, they quit putting them out so much for retail, and we went back to buying the regular, dependable, incandescent bulbs. Well, at least we had a choice. Then LED bulbs started to come out to the public. At first, they were super expensive. In the late 1990s and the early 2000s, an LED light bulb, depending on the manufacturer and the quality, costs anywhere between $40 and $100 per bulb. But they promised lower energy bills and decades of use. They said they're going to be brighter than incandescent bulbs, cool to the touch, no heat, they're going to last 10 years, maybe even a lifetime. But who could afford that? Well, eventually, the cost kept coming down to a price that we can afford or at least justify trying them. And I will admit, at first, I was pretty impressed. I tried LED bulbs. They were cooler to the touch. I could use a drop light close to me and not be burnt. And we kept hearing reports that said, according to the Department of Energy here in the United States, quote, collectively, Americans were expected to save nearly $3 billion annually on utility bills while cutting the carbon emissions by over 200 million metric tons over the next 30 years, the equivalent to the emissions generated by like 28 million homes in one year. And that was according to the Department of Energy. So how much are we saving? What? Yeah, so they raised our rates. So anyway, we made the switch. And thankfully, the LED bulbs started to get cheaper and worse. They started failing in a lot sooner. And now, we don't even have the option to buy the old incandescent light bulbs anymore. That's right, the laws change, at least in the U.S. The incandescent light bulbs were banned. And in April of 2022, the U.S. Department of Energy announced the phase-out of quote-unquote energy-wasting light bulbs, banning the manufacture and the sales of common incandescent light bulbs starting August 1st, 2023. And then, quote, the Department of Energy will seek a maximum civil penalty against any manufacturer and private labelers that knowingly distribute products or equipment that violate the new rule, according to an enforcement policy memo back in 2022. Now, we're stuck with cheap LED bulbs that burn out way too soon. But why? Let's break this down. I started searching the real reason LED bulbs fail. Maybe it's something I'm doing wrong or not understanding. So I tried all the things that I could find. The experts say it's because of turning the light on and off with the switch. But wait a minute, isn't that what a light's supposed to do or be used for? So I tried that. No real difference. Then they also said it's because, well, you're putting it in an enclosed fixture. So I tried changing that, which didn't go over real big with the wife. And after doing that, no real difference. I tried bulbs made for enclosed fixtures and ones that are not made for enclosed fixtures, but no significant difference. I have noticed very little difference in the life of LED light bulbs, whether they're put indoors in a closed fixture, open fixture, if they're turned off and on with a switch, if they're kept on all the time. I've tried high high wattage bulbs, I've tried low wattage bulbs, I've tried daylight bulbs, I've tried soft white bulbs, even kept outside in the open and enclosed. And you know what? No significant difference. It doesn't matter if they're bought at a big discount store, at a lighting store, at a hardware store, at a grocery store, dollar stores, or even flea markets. I have not found a big significant difference. I've even tried the ones made in the US, China, and other countries. And guess what? No significant difference. They all fail just as fast. 
best. In fact, here's what I found about LED bulbs, no matter where they're made. Most LED components are manufactured in Asia, particularly in China, Taiwan, or South Korea. So regardless of where they're assembled, even if it's US made, LEDs use imported parts. And unfortunately, so often the case, lower cost production equals lower quality. I've noticed that LED bulbs now seem to get hotter than they did before when they first came out. And poor heat management often leads to early burnout, especially on low quality components. It's not about on off cycles or enclosed fixtures. Manufacturers blame us, but the real issue is, and correct me if I'm wrong, they're designed to fail. LED bulbs could be made to last decades, but that's not profitable. Companies make cheaper designs with built-in failure points, so you have to keep buying more. You ever notice how warranties on the bulbs are getting shorter? Think about it. You can't make as much profit if the item you're selling at a lower price has a lifetime warranty because nobody will buy it again or you'll have to replace it for free. So cheap materials and bad designs. So what can we do about it? All right. So we know that LED bulbs aren't what they promised, but are we really stuck with them? Not necessarily. Here's what we can do. Number one, return bad bulbs. If a bulb fails much earlier than advertised, take it back. Imagine if thousands of us started returning LED bulbs that fail early. Stores would pressure manufacturers to improve the quality or lose money on refunds. I mean, look at some of these warranties. This one is warranted for two years. If it fails to do so, you may return it with proof of purchase and they give you the address where to return it to. You have to have the receipt plus the box. This one is warranted for 25,000 hours or up to three years. And you send it back if it fails and they'll replace it. Now watch out for the ones like this. The box says up to nine years, but on the side of the box or the back of the box, it says a one year limited warranty. So make sure you keep the receipts. And what I do, I mark the date on the light bulb. So I know when I put it in and how soon it'll fail. And you can even put on the bottom of it how many year warranty it has. And number two, find and support quality brands. If you find an LED brand that actually lasts, stick with it. Hey, and let us use our collective knowledge to put out which brand works and which ones are junk. Leave a comment below with a, with a product name and the information like wattage, maybe the type of bulb. That'll help the rest of us to find good quality bulbs also. And number three, demand better product. We don't have to settle for cheap junk. We can pressure companies to start making higher quality bulbs again. The same way we do with our tools. When they are producing tools that are a piece of junk, quit buying them, start returning them, and buy other ones that are of higher quality a little bit better and maybe not that much more. And that'll force other companies to start producing better product. Competition works great. And we as a consumer can push companies into producing better products. So comment below, have you found a good LED brand and how long do your bulbs actually last? Let's work together and demand better products. If you enjoyed this video or if it's helped you out, hit the like button and also subscribe if you want to see more honest testing and real solutions and also how to do different projects around your home to save yourself a lot of money or make sure it's done properly. And check out my Amazon storefront where I've listed the best performing tools and gadgets for your home, workshop, or job site that I use and recommend. I'll put a link for that down below. I appreciate it. I thank you guys for watching. You take care and God bless.